Okay, so at Manchester Coda Dojo today, uh, we've started building what uh, maybe will be the world's largest Coda Dojo Rube Goldberg machine. And for that, we need lots of uh, different connections between physical and virtual uh, devices in, in, in the real and the uh, online world. I was working with uh, Izzy today, and what we did was broadcast a message in Scratch and have that go through Python and appear in a Google spreadsheet. Why? Why not? So this is a quick video just to show what we did. First of all, we need to connect, um, what we did, we don't need to, but we, what we did was we connected a bit of Python uh, to Scratch. And the way we did that is we went into sensing. Within sensing, there's a, a sensor value um, block here and if we right click on the sensor value block we can enable remote sensor connections which means that we can have programs external to Scratch connect to Scratch and listen out for what Scratch will send it. Um, just out of interest that um, will open up or start start listening oh, that will open up a, um, a socket connection a port rather uh, to which you can make socket connections. Let's start um, if we look for 42001, we should find it. There we go. So that's Scratch listening out on 42001 for a connection. So we're all set. What we've also got is a little Python script. Where is it? There it is, there. A little Python script that we wrote. Um, we won't go through all of this in, uh, in detail. But it defines a bridge where we make a, uh, a connection to that to that. To that port, we build a socket, and down here, when we start listening, we receive data from that from that socket, work out what the message was, what what the broadcast message was, and print it out. But also, if we if we say we want to reflect that information to Google, we use a write to sheet command to use a URL or an HTTP library client library to go and talk to this sheet service, which is defined up here. And the sheet service is a little Google Apps script that we wrote that uses uh, this function here, get sheet ref, to go and get the reference to this particular sheet here, which is empty. And when it receives a post, an HTTP post, it goes and sets the value in the very first cell, the upper left cell, which is this one that's highlighted, to whatever comes through as the contents of the post of the HTTP post. So let's see that in action. So I'll minimize that. We're going to start at Python and we're going to import this little script. And the script defines, as we saw, the script defines a bridge class. So we'll create one of those. And then we'll start listening. And we'll say, yes, we do want to reflect whatever we receive from scratch up through HTTP, through this script, to our spreadsheet. So we'll start it listening. There we go, it's listening. Now, in scratch, we can bring in the start block here and we want to broadcast something. So let's say we'll broadcast a message that's um, Manchester Coda Dojo Rocks. Okay, so when we click this first sprite, Scratch will broadcast this message. The broadcast message will be will be made available on that port 42001 on which this little Python script is listening. And the Python script will receive the message and send an HTTP request, a post request, to this Google Apps script, and the Google Apps script will receive it and write it into this cell, hopefully. Let's, let's see if that works. There we go. So we saw the broadcast message being broadcast. We received it in Python, and Python sent it up to the Google spreadsheet. Hooray. That's it for now.